So you know, we've, we've covered a lot of questions. One thing I want to make sure that we cover is that um, a lot of you have gone on the call because you're interested in the technology. Or you've probably done a lot of research. Um, but we want to just cover a few things that you must know to get you started. And that is like probably the key thing is that people love to research and then toy around and tinker and see how these things work. But um, we're very much about taking action. Uh, is, that's part of our culture. We want that for our customers as well. Um, because we're helping our customers move to the forefront of technology and creating the best customer experience. Because, you know, back to that uh, comment about having 100 apps on my phone, if I had 100, you know, brands that I'm loyal to, I, I don't think I see a problem with that. I really don't. Um, but anyways, um, Wendy, what do sure. you think? What do you get started? How do, how so how get do you started? get started? Number one, at, as with anything, the first thing you should think about is your customer. Start with your customers, customers in mind and think about what value you actually want to create for them. What is the experience, the end experience that you want them to receive when they walk into your store? What is that exact content? What is that messaging you want to direct to them? That whole experience actually needs to be seamless. You don't want them to wander into your store and then out and 10 minutes later they receive a lock screen message. You want everything to happen right at the, at the right time, at the right location, at the right place and to the right person. So it's adding this level of engagement and making sure that it is precise and seamless for the user. The second thing you must consider is in your content delivery. Now with proximity marketing, based on your user or your customer's location, they can receive specialized content that's personalized. And three things to consider here. Number one, it has to be relevant to them. Are they in the right place to receiving a coupon at this store? Does it hold value for them? Are they going to act upon this offer? And number three, is it timely? Are you sending them a coupon for dinner at, let's say, 7 in the morning? Probably not. So, and the final thing you want to think about before getting started is your deployment environment. So once you nail down how you want your customer experience to be, how, what kind of content you want to, to, want to deliver, think about your area or your arena of deployment. How many beacons do you think you'll need? How will you address the piggybacking issues? How will you actually manage these beacons if you want to rotate the beacon UUIDs, if you want to manage the batteries, or if you want to actually leave static UUIDs in your beacons? These are just some things you might probably want to consider. At the end of the day, the bottom line is you cannot ignore where proximity marketing is going. All this new technology is great for you to enhance your marketing strategies and to combine it with the new technology. So at the end of the day, you can't ignore what's happening. It's in inevitable. Yeah, and it's driven by the consumer, Wendy. Um, as Nick says, as people experience this, this experience will be expected. By not ignoring it today and thinking that you can get into this later, you do run a risk of not being able to provide the best service and, and experience from an online to offline world. You may have the best customer service with staff in your store but if you're not also capitalizing on the intimate relationship your customers have with their smartphone, you do run the risk of not being able to capitalize on the other assets you have in your business. I hope you can hear the passion that's in this room. It's certainly got very hot in here with the passion and energy. And it's, it's funded by a world that is better. It's funded by a world and fueled by a world that is more convenient, um, more useful and more valuable for the end customers, which ultimately yields better business benefits uh, to those people who are offering these types of services. Just a couple of snippets. You know, customers that are using more modern techniques of proximity marketing, whether that's via a pass in a convenient single app of a mobile wallet like Passbook or Samsung Wallet, combining that with highly precision location-based services through a beacon network, some of the stats that we've seen, and it is early days, we're seeing people increase revenue 200% plus. We're seeing app downloads. One particular client of ours within one week had a 300% increase in app downloads. So as costs of app distribution goes up, um, as the difficulty to retain the attention of people and have them install apps, and I definitely agree with the comment that we had earlier, you know, people got app fatigue, using uh, services and technology that's available to you pretty easily to enhance the experience for your customers is the best way 
to grow that loyalty is the best way for that person to think, hey, I want this app because it provides me something better. I want to go to the shop because it's easier for me to leave the shop having a great service, whether that's from the staff or whether it's from service that's delivered via the smartphone. So, you know, the passion here is, is to help our partners and ultimately help the end user have that great experience leveraging technology that's available today.